And so there's a lot of different theories, okay? But what I found lately on YouTube is every time I turn around, there's some fear-mongering going on that they're saying is truth, that's new truth, it's a conspiracy theory that they've, they've you know, uncovered. And it's, it could be, it also could just be nothing. But almost always it evokes fear. And I guess personally, my spirit is having a hard time with it because I can't be in fear 24 seven. And if I watch the things that people point me to or look at the things that people point me to, <clears throat> or even some of the things that I thought were important to um, share, it's just gonna ruin my quality of life and your quality of life. Because the truth is, you don't really know. Maybe 6566 is about the bubonic plague hitting, and maybe it's just because they didn't have a protocol in Katrina. You know, maybe 2012 is the end of the world, and maybe it's just a clue for all of us to remember that it, this experience comes to an end at a certain point. And maybe the big wake-up call is that we're supposed to be enjoying it. This little journey we're on, we're supposed to be having fun. I mean, the winner at the end of it isn't the one who got the most scared and got the most preps because chances are, let's hope, you'll never use those. The winner of the game of life is the one that had the best time, the one that loved the most, the one that created the most joy and sang and danced and had fun. And so I just been battling back and forth with, is it my duty to bring the news to you? Because it's starting to be like the boy that cried wolf. If every time we, we have somebody screaming wolf and we throw this in adrenaline into our body and set ourselves, um, is this really the best thing that we should be doing? Or at least if we do it, I have to suggest for my own self and share with you like, we have got to counterbalance it with some really happy things. Like, I'm trying to figure out what I can fit in today that would make me really happy. I would love to go horseback riding if I have time. Like, that would make me so happy. But at least uh, maybe I'll have time for a quick surf. And there's, there's really nothing quite like surfing a wave. <laughs> Even if it's not a big one, it's uh, really amazing. So um, anyway, long story short, I just want to please remind you to make sure you go out and do something happy today. And I am definitely going to take that advice myself because, you know, today's a gift, as groovy as that sounds. And all those things we hear, all those threatening news stories, they may never come to fruition. But today will end, most certainly, and then it'll be gone. So I hope that today you uh, found something wonderful for yourself to do and have. And uh, I guess that's my Friday wish for you all. Um, I'd love to hear your comments, how the news is affecting you and conspiracy theories and what your thoughts are. And uh, I'm going to leave you with a little music. My brother happened to come visit. We ran into some friends that were playing music. And I thought, you know, it's rusty. They're, it's early in the morning. And we just happened by uh, for a visit because my brother was in town from Buffalo. And I haven't seen him in a long time. But it kind of fit what I was thinking that... Uh, you know, it's a little strange journey we're on here, and uh, the winner is the one who has the most fun and uh, does some great things along the way. I, I am a big believer in that. I am a big believer in uh, fighting the good fight for sure, but uh, I'm not so sure that's the point. To ever come out of this place, yeah, I want you to know. Yeah, I want you to know. So strange condition A day in prison Got me out of my head in a dome